all right youtube we're back here on the channel and today we are going to be going over the 8 13 thursday information for jp we do have a crazy things and also yes 8 13 y'all know what tomorrow is also I, I i won't be posted tomorrow because yes tomorrow's my birthday so i won't be posted tomorrow because i'm gonna be super busy from morning to the end of the day so i won't be uploading i'm gonna be super busy like i'm not even gonna be home for like a lot of most of the time i'm not gonna be home so we have this new original character I actually i didn't go through her information i only read her passive so i guess i did right i only read her passive though let me see if i could pull her up um sora has the information in the discord shout out to sora oh it seems like wait what was that oh okay so i didn't know this the returning final boss king on jp we're gonna go over it all in a second. I just wanna open um thing. I have her animations in my on um, my channel already, so you guys can go check it out if you want. Um news. Okay, so it's gonna be hard for me to read it here. So actually let me open it up on my phone. Um it's like just so small. I don't know. Okay, so basically her passive is that before transformation, passive, right? So this is her passive before she transforms. She is a transforming unit. Right, what's her name? I, I don't know her name. Oh, Sora just posted something else. Um, so when the hero gets attacked by an enemy on the enemy's turn, increases HP related stats by five percent. And when there's five stacks, so when her um when she gets hit five times, she removes all her passive stacks, so that five percent, which would be twenty five percent HP related stats buff, would go down. Uh, it would all go away and then she'd get five alt gauge giving her her alt That's pretty good um, And then her transformation passive is that all allies get attack related stats Or all allies attack related stats are increased by 20% and that just stays there. <laughs> what? Okay Removes enemy stances and the, this are these are rank threes, right? So oh my bad uh, Where is she? Uh, let's click her right so her first skill removes enemy stances and deals 250 damage as well as dealing another two whoa oh oh hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on her first skill is like goddess ellie's with the stun hold up bro yo hold on Cancel stats of enemy and inflicts 250, then st stuns for two turns. Yes, sir! Yo, she has the same skill as Goddess Ellie, this one right here. She has this skill. Her first skill is this one right here. She stuns, bro. Her Easton and Goth, bro, I already know what it's going to be. I already know what it's going to be. Her Easton and Gotha are going to go crazy. I already know what the team is going to be. Right? Um. Then her second skill deals 250 damage to all targets and then... 30% life steal. Oh. Oh, so whatever damage she does, she gets 30% life steal from that, basically. That's pretty good, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. She seems pretty good. Um, then her first skill transforms uh, for five turns. So, okay, she transforms for five turns, removing all allies' debuffs and enemy debuffs. Or uh, all allies' debuffs and enemies' buffs. And for every buff removed from the enemy, increases. Camellia. Okay, so her name is a Camellia. Uh, max HP by 4% for 3 turns. Okay, then when she transforms... Uh, okay, so that's her transformation. Okay, and then her transformation skills is that she deals 500, ignores defense um, damage to a single target. Okay, just simple. Uh, I don't know who else does that. And then deals 250 times 2 crit damage to all, 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 all enemies. So it's pretty simple. Honestly, her base is much better. To be honest, she has the stun, which is very good. And then um, her second, her ultimate for when she transforms is Escanor's. I guess everybody who transforms is just gonna have Escanor's ult, right? But bro, she seems pretty good. Automatically, the first person that comes to my mind that nobody uses that would be, I don't know if it would be good, but somebody that comes to my mind that nobody uses is actually Deldry. Cause if you guys, if her first, her passive is that, if she gets attacked, right, some people might not have AoE skills, 
but Deldry has a taunt on ally and increases HP related stats for one turn. You could have Deldry, like, you can have um, Deldry taunt her. So you could have Deldry put a taunt on her and everybody would be forced to attack her. That'd be pretty good, right? But then again, it is Deldry. So I don't know. And then applies one charm effect to one enemy in PvP. When charm news inflicts damage, it will miss. Oh. Damn, that's not bad. I mean, that's not too bad. Her passive, Deldry's passive is not too bad. Right? This right here. I mean, if she inflicts a charge, right? Or applies a charge. Or a charm. Not charge. A charm where whoever has it cannot do damage to her. So if she puts a taunt on herself, whoever has it will not do dam damage to her. That's pretty good. Except for alt. Uh, but yeah, you could put Deldry. Um, I don't recommend Deldry. I don't know how good Deldry would be. But Deldry puts a taunt on one of your allies. And then if you put it on her, guess who has, um, who's forced to be attacked. So, um... In all, she's pretty good, all right? Her, she stuns like Goddess Ellie. So that's pretty, pretty good, right? Um, her banner, I don't know if it's, it's a step up banner. I, everybody obviously do step one and two. Second multi is guaranteed one gem, or one gem multi, right? Her name is Camellia. That's her name, okay. Camellia, Camellia, I don't know, right? Um, when I first seen her, I thought of the girl from um, Bleach. I, I forgot her name, uh, like the lightning girl. I don't know we have this like what lying fireworks festival okay so basically what's going on on global is going to jp right this is on jp right now like this hawk pass is on jp right now so or on global right now so this is going to be on jp um same as this right the part yeah so they're basically just doing the fireworks festival what's on global is going on jp and that's way what it is and then they're bringing back final boss king everybody who does not have final boss king this is your opportunity, right? A very good opportunity because it took them quite some time to bring it back. Um, okay, so what else are they doing? I think they're adding a new um, title, three new titles. And they're also um, changing the maximum number of skip tickets. Oh, okay. So it's five now, they're changing it to 10. So now you can use 10 skip tickets max. That's pretty good. And then it will show you for how, what you got, like for how, what, what turn basically, or what fight. It's pretty cool. Um, it's just, um, change across the fucking, what? What? Uh, what? Oh, okay. So instead of, okay, basically instead of, because for now, what you have to do is you usually have to, press like one 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 instead of doing that now you could like use um this and move it up to whatever number so it's faster right um change the bash what the batch registration system what at what i don't know what this is bro. okay and then we have some things right just fix problems balance okay so um oh okay so look they changed it aaron yeager this is the titan form aaron yeager special move john effect causes or like has a new thing so before the battle starts change effects nullified and valid and hp restored to max whoa so now his hp just goes back to full hp right i don't know if he still is nullified it, or if he still is like cannot be nullified or whatever, but his HP goes back to max, right? Sending the reward achievements, Goku YouTube channel registration. Okay, so I don't know what this means, but apparently if you guys 38,000 achievements, everybody gets part two. You get all this reward if you guys get maximum 30,000. And that's basically what it is. Um, This Camellia, Camellia, whatever her name is, seems pretty decent. You guys are getting the fireworks event. So it's like, if you guys are on JP, I do recommend buying the Hawk Pass. It's pretty good. So you guys are getting what we are getting or what we have on Global. But this Camellia girl, whatever, seems like a problem. She, she's on her base. She stuns the Goddess Ellie. If you guys don't know what that what that does, stun makes it that you can attack them, but they can't do nothing for a whole turn, right? So if you don't have a Goddess Ellie, she's a replacement for that only that one skill. Again, Goddess Ellie does have a shield that um like has you can't use any special effects against it and then she also has her alt which is um 
it reflects in her passion which revives right she know this girl camellia is nowhere as near good as her but she does have that stun which is very good so um do i recommend summoning if green easton is on that banner then yes hell yes summon all the way what if green easton is on that banner then yes i think you should summon to be honest i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even gonna hold you back until you know don't summon i mean i i all uh, uh, hello what Obviously, everybody summon um first and second step, but mainly if if Green Easton is on this girl's banner, then please summon. It, 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 I do think it's worth it now, right? But again, I do I don't know about Deldry, but Deldry might be probably a good choice for her to just to get her ult right faster. So you like direct all attacks to her. Deldry makes it that you could taunt anybody on your team. Taunting her guarantees she gets attacked no matter what. So there is that um and then yeah i mean i don't know what you want to do you don't have to use her i don't think anybody will but again i just put up crazy teams um and yeah so i'm zioxis again i won't be posting any time i won't post any time tomorrow maybe i'll post early in the morning tomorrow but for the rest of the, the remainder of the day i won't be posting i won't even be online because i'll be out and doing my stuff on my birthday so all that stuff make sure we get to 400 subs right let's get to 400 subs and um giveaway will come out soon so i'm zioxis and i'm out later peace